Hello Beer Heroes fans, we're back again. This isn't Kelly, again. Don't worry, she will be back. This is Wayne, and today we are gonna be smashing out four awesome beers from Glen Affred Brewery. Oh, okay. And one soft drink. What? Right there, you get me in to do a tasting and you give me a soft drink. Soft Drink Heroes is the new venture. <sighs> Maybe not, let's do it. Fam, we're back again for another tasting. This time with Glen Affric Brewery, and also with Wayne. Hi, everybody. So Wayne is a, um, a regular uh, customer of Beer Heroes um, for their national online delivery, and uh, we thought we'd pay Wayne a visit with a bit of a beer tasting again to get a, um, a seasoned drinker's view <laughs> and tasting notes on on what you taste. When you drink beer, would that be fair to say that you're a seasoned drinker? I, I think seasoned drinker is a very polite way of putting it. Yeah. So, not. I mean, an expert. You don't work in the industry. Nope. You drink beer for the enjoyment. So it's to get the view of um, an everyday beer drinker. So let's uh, stop talking. And let's drink some beer. Yeah, drinking. So it's Glen Affric we've got going on today, guys. They're based up in Birkenhead in Liverpool. We've got four beers, but before we do that, we've got this cheeky little raspberry and coconut sugar-free soft drink. Um, we're doing this because, well, because Glen Affric do really nice soft drinks, we normally like to review the, the beer, but yeah. they have a really good range of soft drinks, um, so if you're in the trade or if you are a customer that's just looking to buy some, some nice uh, driving type of drinks or something to put with your, your gin, um, this is a raspberry and coconut sugar free soft drink. So. Cheers, Wayne. Cheers, Pat. So is it unusual for a brewery to make a soft drink as well? Um, not many of them do it because mm. they, you know, breweries concentrate on what they're, they're doing. I know, speaking to the guys at Glen Affric, they, they started it because it's, it's the mainstream soft, it's like soft drinks and mixers and things are always the same brands yeah. and there's no, not many kind of small batch producers. No, there is, and um, they're really good quality products. They go really nice with gins, these. Mm. Um, this is it's a very raspberry, very coconut, not too sweet because it's sugar free as well. Mm. But bring it on, it's quite nice. Yeah, I, I, I get the coconut, I definitely do. Um, I, I get like a, a, a perfume, perfumey aftertaste, so I don't know if that's the, the yeah. one to, uh... it's um, oh no. Not Do you know, okay, I'm going to be a bit controversial. It's a nice drink, it's good, really nice with a couple of shots of gin in it. You know the um, shower yacht sauce, shower gels? <laughs> Have you ever had the uh, coconut sauce? Yes, yeah. It, it, it reminds me of that because you get the coconut aroma and the taste. You do get the, it's, it's very overpowering. For not in a bad way. No, no, not at all, definitely but, not. But, and I think you're right, as a, as a mixer with um, a bit of gin or a bit of vodka even. I even say um, Malibu. Oh, that's a good shout. A Malibu with that yeah. would be awesome. Mm. Um, I think we've probably dwelled long enough on the soft drink. Can we drink some beer? Please do. <laughs> funny reason I'm here. So, guys, the first one is Mango and Friends. Um, you can see the can there. Um, the lighting's not great because we are at um, Wayne's um, Beer Cavern, otherwise known as his kitchen. And uh, this is the Mango and Friends. It's a tropical pale ale. Um, so I'll pour yours first. Thank you very your much. glasses are smarter than my Wayne. Is that your way of telling me that I'm not welcome? Or what can I say? It's just so, is it, uh, <laughs> it's actually outside. <laughs> it's, it, it's the kind of, it's kind of man I am. What can I say? <laughs> so this tropical pale ale um, is pineapple, tangerine, and orange. I believe in the brew. Let me just check that. Yeah. So they put the favourite fruit into it. So mangoes. Um, it's just mango and pineapple. Mm, okay. Yeah, I think is the, uh, the brew in that, but definitely mango led. It's four point five percent, obviously from Glen Affric up in, in Birkenhead. So what do you what do you get, Wayne? So while you're tasting on the nose, there's there's nothing for me. Mm. There's nothing at all. Um, it smells a bit like you know when you burn your hairs when you're uh, cooking. <laughs> you know what you got it. Yeah, yeah it yeah, does. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah. you know you can sing. I mean, I'm a hairy guy. When you, when, you, when you get your hobbit fingers too close to the flame. 
That's what it is, yeah. 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 Isn't it? Yeah. Good job I don't cook with my toes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, it just smelled a bit like that, yeah. which is weird. A little bit different. I'm, I, I'm not getting, I'm not, I can't get anything. Taste wise, I don't get many mangoes. No, I'm not getting the tropical at all in my face. I, I'm not. Um, Sorry. It's a bit disappointing, to be honest. Um, B Heroes do a lot of work with, with Bergen Head and the Luga Brewery. This one, I think, is. is a bit dull, it's a bit, mm. it's a bit meh, which is a shame because yeah. you want to drink that and you want to be slapped around the face with sweet mango flavours. I want to get that tropical hit, like you said, I want to get that yeah. real tropical hit. But For I'm me, not, I'm not getting the, the sugars have all fun. gone in that. Yeah. The, the beer's gone its full life cycle and, and there's no there's no sweetness left. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, we've done. Look, the, the first one's not great. They're not all winners, are they? Next one, Paradise Reef, Pina Colada Pale Ale. So Ooh. Pina Colada. If you like Pina Colada. I know you like a Pina Colada, don't you? Pina Colada. Just getting caught, caught in the rain, is that the next? It is indeed. It's like, uh, <laughs> tested by... Uh, a bit of Barry Manor over there. Musical knowledge. But yeah, Pina Colada, so we're going to expect lots and lots of pineapple coconut. It's 4.7% guys, this one, so good sessionable um beer oh yeah okay straight away yes getting it. we're getting some quite boozy pineapple mm. like a pineapple rum i am getting that pina colada feel that smell mm. definitely as opposed to the wow. previous beer okay so what do you get with that one way and what's your what's your thoughts because we want your view without us leading you okay i'm getting coconut definitely on that Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the fruit. I'm getting the coconut. I'm, I'm enjoying that. It's a nice beer. It's, it's not, it's not overpowering. No, it's no, not it too, yeah. it's not too fruity. It's not one of these fruit bombs. It's a delicate, kind of a little bit of bitterness in the background. Yes. A little bit of coconut, a little bit of pineapple, but nothing, nothing in your face. Quite a well balanced beer. Um, it's probably. If you're expecting again this big fruit smack around the face, it's not, but it's a good drinker, I think. This I, one. I'd, I'd be scared if I, I look at that beer and I'd look at that that, that beer online at Beer Heroes and I'd be thinking, oh, I'm not, you know, I'd, be, I'd shy away from that because I'd be thinking it's going to be too overpowering, too much for me, probably not going to be my kind of beer. Yeah. But actually, I'm enjoying it, it's really yeah. quite refreshing. A good, a good easy drinking, yeah, refreshing beer. Yeah, really cold and a hot day, that. Probably not the time of year for it, but that is a... Put the heating up, get it in the fridge. That's all right, you know. That's all you need to do, yeah. yeah. So, we're getting better, guys. This is a this is a good beer. Um, I wouldn't go crazy about it. I don't think I'd, I'd, you know, go looking it out. But it's definitely one worth trying because it's very subtle. Yeah, don't be, don't be afraid of it. Yeah. Like, like I would be. Definitely, yeah. Give it a try because not all these beers are like... I mean, it, it's a beer, so it tastes like beer, that one. Some of the, some of the fruited beers... Yes. Tends to taste like fruit juice. So we did an Omni Polo taste. If not, check that out, guys. Uh, we'll put a little link up up there now. Check that out. And that the Omni Polo beers don't really taste well. The ones we did, the Tefnut just tasted like fruit juice. It, it, it didn't taste like beer. So oh, okay. it depends what you, you're after. If you're after that, then it's great. If you're after a beer tasting beer, then check check out yeah. the Paradise Reef. Right, next one. Let's move on. We are on to Atomic Orange. So we've got another song reference here. Blondie? No, no, it's my natural colour. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Wayne is taking bookings for his comedy, <laughs> his comedy uh, tour. Um, there's lots of availability, so don't rush to get your, uh, your name down. <laughs> look, at the color, look at the colour on that. Yeah, so this is a blood, a blood orange pale ale. It's 4.8%, guys, isn't it? 4.8%. Give it a try, Wayne, while I talk about it. Um, obviously, blood orange uh, in the brew. So you're expecting that kind of intense orange flavour, um, but what, what do you get, Wayne? What's um, I think it's not as intense as I was, I was hoping when we look at the uh, the, the uh, previous beer, which had that really nice coconutty, fruity taste. Um, it kind of takes me back to the first beer a little bit. It, it just it doesn't deliver what I was expecting. Okay, for me. Yeah, I mean this one I think is the. The most bold out of the three we've had. For me, I get the 
they're kind of bittersweet orange flavours, mm. a bit like a mulled wine, orangey mulled wine flavour, as opposed to a, a bitter, pithy flavour. So you're not getting that intense bitterness that I kind of would want with this. Um, but I think I was expecting a bit more of a, a, a sour beer. I'm, I'm not a big sour beer fan, yeah. um, but I think I was expecting that kind of yeah. taste and aftertaste. And I get a little bit of it, but I'm not. I'm not. It's not delivered. I know what you're saying. It's a bit more like for me a bit of Robinson's marmalade, rather than blood orange. Yes. It's got that kind of marmalade, a bit of toastiness as well because yeah. of the because the multi multi backbone. It's um, it's not overly multi, but that balanced up gives you gives you a bit of that. It's, so it, like, nice it's, beer. I was gonna say it's not a bad beer. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm enjoying it. I'd, I'd happily drink it. So we're not blown away by all three so far beers. The, the soft drink was nice, the three beers, first one was okay, the next two are good, so definitely worth trying, definitely worth getting getting down your face, but let's hope this last one can hit the home run. Yeah, um, I, I think all, all three, as you said, is, is definitely all three I would have definitely shied away from, from, from ordering. Yeah. Um, but now I've tried them, I'd, I'd, I'd try them again, I'd happily try them again. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, and I wouldn't be as, as scared to order them again. Good. And that's what... I think is uh, sometimes scary for people that if you're new to beer and you go onto like a Beer Heroes website and, and there's hundreds of different beers, different styles, different um, tasted notes, yes. different fruits added, it's um, don't shy away from trying. And, and it's really easy to fall into into a, the comfort zone, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I, I like a dark beer, you know, and yeah. so it's, it's, it's always easy to go onto the, to Beer Heroes and just go, oh, I'm just going to order a lot of dark beers. Yeah. You know, Guys, just venture out, just to try something try different, it, yeah. try something new. Talking of dark beers, we are going to do another dark beer tasting uh, with, with Wayne uh, coming up on the next video, so look out for that one, guys. Um, right, the last beer, beer yeah. number four, drink number five, uh, is called Ooh. Ingimund IPA. I hope I'm saying that right, and it's a um, Kiv, Kivik IPA. Um, again, pronunciation on Brummy, so um, my English skills are average should we say yeah. it's, it's made with kivik yeast um, this one the description is um, inspired by a viking warlord who invaded the Wirral where um, Glafric are based up in Birkenhead in uh, 902 AD so it's a history lesson guys this as well it's brewed with uh, Norwegian Voss kivik yeast uh, hopped with Simcoe Equinox El Dorado and Comet. Wayne, what do you get? That smell, so fruity. It really is a, when you talk about the fruit bombs that we were talking about earlier, about that real, that hit, it yeah. just. 6.5% guys, sorry, didn't mention it on this one. It's okay. The, the, the nose on that is just phenomenal. I, I smell that, I'm excited to drink it, which is a very lame thing to say, but I am. It's not lame, I mean, be a, Try different beers. Mm. You know, it's supposed to excite you. You know that, that anticipation. It's, it's sometimes like your first kiss, isn't it? When you oh. when you're waiting to try that beer for the first time. Wayne, what do you think? Oh, I love that. That is, you've got that, that fruity, the fruity aroma. You've got that, that fruity um, fruity on the on, on the back of the throat. Yeah. it's absolutely. This is bloody gorgeous. So I'm getting oh. I'm getting pithy orange with this one. Um, tropical fruits, bit of great fruit. with me, Carl. <laughs> Don't get pissed with me, man. <laughs> it's all white. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So it's got that. Little, it's got that bitterness. It's got that mm. kind of bitter hit. It, it. It's a bit of grapefruit. A little bit of tropical fruits. It's very well balanced. It's not a fruit bomb mm. by all by any means of the imagination. But oh, that is that is a that is a bloody good. It's good nice. Beer. It's yeah. nice. It's got a bit mm. of extra strength. Doesn't taste a six point five. No, it doesn't actually. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a dangerous beer. It's one that will creep up on you. But that is a real. It's got a nice bit of bitterness. It's got that mm. pithy. That so pith, taste, that the, the, the white bit in between the orange and the skin and the peel is, <laughs> is, 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 is the white. I, I, pith. You can tell you're more better at this than I am because when you say it, I get it. Well, I only I only say that. I, I look for that in a beer I look for a good nice bit of bitterness and often with with the hops you get that kind of fruity bitterness so you get like a a bitter a bit of orange or you know the lemony or the limey flavors and and yeah the bitterness kind of relates to the bitter uh, skin that you get on some fruits 
So uh, yeah. Wayne, we need to decide our favourite, and I think yeah, yeah, I, I think we both <laughs> we're both going with the same. I think, aren't we? The the other the other beers, the soft drink's great. So oh, the soft drink is amazing. As they've, got a, they've got a great range, loads of flavours on that. So so get involved with the soft drinks. If you if you're a retailer or a bar or a restaurant, they go awesome with gin. Do you know um, um, like hard seltzers are the, the new the new big, yeah. the new big thing and that that to me as a hard seltzer would be amazing as well. Mm, yeah mm. so maybe guys are going Africa. Wayne wants to see you make some hard seltzers. And I want that flavour. And you want that flavour. <laughs> yeah. um, the three first three beers for me, okay, first one, second one second and third one, bit better. The fourth one, the last beer, nice. That Kivik yeast is yes. Is a good strong it holds it all together yeast with the fruity flavours. That's my winner for me. Is that the winner for yeah, you? Definitely the winner for me. Wayne, cheers. So, and thank you so much for letting us do this no, um, no. this video in your in your kitchen here. And um, we're gonna do another one on, on dark beers as we said. Yeah, check that out. And yeah, uh, we're both going with the uh, the six point five percent Ingimund. I might have done it. Thanks so much for the invite and I look forward to the next Cheers. one. All we need to do now, guys, is just ask you if you like the video, just give us a look if you Wayne, a subscribe. A subscribe. And a, and a like and a thumbs up. <laughs> you, could, you could tell we never rehearsed this one. <laughs> um, so, like and a subscribe, guys, and then you'll get a little notification if you can click uh, notifications when our next video is available. We don't bombard you with you once a week at most and um, try and do something different every time and get involved. Get involved. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Glass table, Wade. Oh, hey, I'm glad you're wearing shorts. <laughs> <laughs> the red shorts are out. Loving it. <laughs>